In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. We should be giving thanks every day, but today we remember in particular, and as, as, as a nation, we're actually thanking God. And that's something we don't really do as a nation very often, but we're doing it today, and that's a great thing. So even though it's not a holy day of obligation, it is still a day when the banks are closed. <laughs> so we're very, very grateful for everything that God gives us. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Father all-powerful, your gifts of love are countless, and your goodness infinite. As we come before you on Thanksgiving Day with gratitude for your kindness, open our hearts to have concern for every man, woman, and child, so that we may share your gifts in loving service. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Sirach. And now, bless the God of all, who has done wondrous things on earth, who fosters people's growth from their mother's womb and fashions them according to his will. May he grant you joy of heart and may peace abide among you. May his goodness toward us endure in Israel to deliver us in our days. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. I'll praise your name forever, Lord. Oh, praise your name forever, Lord. Every day I will bless you. I will praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and highly to be praised. His greatness is unsearchable. I'll praise your name praise forever, forever, Lord. Generation after generation praises your works and proclaims your might. They speak of the splendor of your glorious majesty and tell of your wondrous works. I will, I will praise, praise your, your name, name forever, forever, Lord. They discourse of the power of your terrible deeds and declare your greatness. They publish the fame of your abundant goodness and joyfully sing of your justice. I will praise, praise your, your name, name forever, forever, Lord. The Lord is gracious and merciful slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. I'll praise your name forever, Lord. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. I'll praise, I'll praise your, your name, name forever, forever, Lord. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I give thanks to my God always on your account for the grace of God bestowed on you in Christ Jesus, that in him you were enriched in every way with all discourse and all knowledge as the testimony to Christ was confirmed among you, so that you are not lacking in any spiritual gift, as you wait for the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
He will keep you firm to the end, irreproachable on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful, and by him you will call to fellowship with his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is his name. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. As Jesus continued his journey to Jerusalem, he traveled through Samaria and Galilee. As he was entering a village, ten persons with leprosy met him. They stood at a distance from him and raised their voices, saying, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. And when he saw them, he said, Go, show yourselves to the priests. As they were going, they were cleansed. And one of them, realizing that he had been healed, returned, glorifying God in a loud voice. And he fell at the feet of Jesus and thanked him. He was a Samaritan. Jesus said in reply, Ten were cleansed, were they not? Where are the other nine? Has none but this foreigner returned to give thanks to God? And he said to him, Stand up and go. Your faith has saved you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord. the words of the Gospel, may our sins be wiped away. Well, it's a joy to be here today on Thanksgiving Day, a major holiday in the, in the United States here. And, uh, and as I said, one of the few days where we're allowed to mention God. <laughs> wow, that's good. <laughs> Hi, God. But uh, we're very grateful. And it's important that we tell God that we are thankful, that we say thank you to God. Why? Is God hanging on that? Is, it, is God saying, oh, 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 I really want to hear you say thanks for everything I do for you. Come on, let me hear you say it. No, he doesn't do it for the thanks. God does what he does for us because he loves us. Through his sacred heart, he gives not just of himself, he gives himself, his infinite self, to us out of love. But it's important that we thank him for what he does for us because if we don't, then we forget. Saying thank you is a form of gratitude. And to be grateful, you have to recognize what was done for you. And so often, we ignore or forget about the things that people, and most especially God, does for us. Yes, God surrounds us with the people that we love, our friends and our family, the people in our community. And we're grateful for that. But God helps us on much more personal basis as well. Every breath that we take comes from God. Every beat of our heart is in God. Every moment of our lives is given to us by God, moment by moment by moment. We need to be grateful. We need to recognize what God does for us, and so much more. We'll never recognize everything that God does for us. But let us recognize it as best we can. And let us be grateful. Let us say, you do all these things for us, Lord. Thank you. And there are two ways to thank him, and we should be doing both. Saying, thank you, God, for everything that you do for me. And be specific. Thank you for my life. Thank you for my friends. Thank you for my health. 
Thank you for my family. And then use the gifts he gives us. Our wealth, our possessions, our homes, our family and friends, and our health. Use these things to help other people. God gives us great gifts. Every moment of our lives, let us use his gifts to help other people share the gifts of God with our friends and family and community and people we don't even know. That's another glorious way of saying thank you to God by being responsible with the gifts that he gives us, by being careful and caring and generous with the gifts that he gives us. And how much more will he give us to give us when he sees how responsible we're being with us and how loving we are being with these gifts. Let us thank God by word of mouth and by action. Let us thank God with our love of God and love of people. And let us have a joyous day of thanksgiving. And let this day of thanksgiving last for the rest of our lives. Let us live lives of thanksgiving and embrace our God who embraces us. We are children of God. Let us learn from God. Let us be one with God. And let us jo enjoy forever with our friends and our family and God in his fullness when he calls us home. Happy Thanksgiving. Now, did anybody bring food? Not that I'm hungry, but uh, <laughs> did you bring me something you'd like me to bless? If you have, you can hold them on up. Very good. Lord, pour your blessings upon these foods and upon your children, upon your literal children. Yeah, hold them up. <laughs> I have children we're offering up too. Lord, pour your blessings upon your food, your children, and all your people. Let the food be nourishing and bring fellowship and kindness and joy to all people who partake. And may the children be nourished and happy and bring joy to everyone they come in contact with as well. And may God pour his joy and love and peace and life upon all of us. And I want you to think of someone who needs blessing today. I want you to think of someone who needs blessing right now. May God pour his blessings, pour his blessings upon the people that you're thinking of right now no matter who they are. Pour your blessings upon them, Lord God. Guide us in bringing people to you and make this Thanksgiving and this lifetime joyous, healthy, and always in you. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. And now let us proclaim our belief and trust in God. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. 
I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Now on this glorious day, this day of thanksgiving from our hearts, let us tell God what we hope for, what we need, and let him guide us what we ask him for on this solemn day. As we celebrate Thanksgiving, let us take a moment to reflect on and give thanks for all the blessings in our lives. And may we pray for the grace that we never take those blessings for granted and that, the, that we remain faithful to Christ and his church. The Lord invites us to place our hope in him. Let us bring our prayers and petitions before him with confidence and trust. For the church, may the Lord strengthen us in unity as we work together in spreading the gospel message. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all people of the world, may the Lord bring hope to the hopeless and unity where there is conflict. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who live with chronic health conditions, may God be their refuge from pain and peace in their distress. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us here, may God's blessing be upon us that we may produce good fruit for the kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, marked with the sign of faith, may they come to share in the fullness of eternal life in the risen Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, we bring these requests before you. We ask you to answer them in your wisdom, to give us the things that you know we need, and to give us better than what we're asking for if you know that we need these. We trust in your wisdom, we trust in your love. We offer these things and ourselves to you always. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbles himself to share in his humanity, our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. And may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me of my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. God, our Father, from whose hand we have received generous gifts, so that we might learn to share your blessings in gratitude, accept these gifts of bread and wine, 
And let the perfect sacrifice of Jesus draw us closer to all our brothers and sisters in the human family. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, you have entrusted to us the great gift of freedom, a gift that calls forth responsibility and commitment to the truth that all have a fundamental dignity before you. In Jesus, through his death and resurrection, we find our ultimate redemption, freedom from sin and every blessing. And so with hearts full of love, we join the angels today and every day of our lives to sing your glory as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free me by this, your most holy body and blood, from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me always faithful to your commandments, and never let me be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. blood of Christ, keep me safe for eternal life. Body of Christ. Amen. spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
What has passed our lips as food, O oh Lord, may we possess in purity of heart. What has been given to us in time may be our healing for eternity. Let us pray. In this celebration, O Lord our God, you have shown us the depths of your love for all your children. Help us, we pray, to reach out in love to all your people, so that we may share with them the good things of time and eternity, through Christ our Lord. When you go home today, Enjoy your friends, enjoy your family, put aside all differences, and be open to the love of God and share this love of God with everybody. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go forth in the peace and love of Christ. Amen. And please remember, for those who wish to go to Mass on Thanksgiving, as you have done, uh, we will have a 10 o'clock a.m. Mass as well today uh, by Monsignor Listante. So uh, they have another opportunity if they wish. God bless and happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. Gather around, children, I'll show you the way. I'm changing my life before the judgment day. Praise the King, praise the Savior, lift up your voice, everybody sing, shout the name of Jesus with every living